Hello everybody. for me and, and the people that he's put in my life and you know I, I'm excited about what God is doing I'm excited that he is uh, that he has uh, just been my rock and you know just been you know just had my back you know what I mean like, there's nothing like knowing that your back is covered and you don't have to worry. And, you know, your needs are met and, you know, you're going to have enough food and you're going to have enough gas and you're going to have enough, uh, you know, laundry soap. And you know what I mean? Like, just the little things I just am thanking God for today, you know. I'm thanking God for, you know, him just supplying all of my needs. And, you know, I, you know, I, just using this as a teaching moment, what we need to understand is that we don't need to ask for the things that we need. Because the Bible says he shall supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. And there's no asking required. And so when we have a need, God knows it. We just need to thank him for it. And so I'm just thanking God today that he supplies all my needs. I'm thanking God today that I don't have to worry. I don't have to wonder whether or not he's going to come through for me because I know that he is faithful to his word. He's not a man that he can lie. And so because he can't lie, when he says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. And so I'm just really excited, um, so thankful to God for all that he has done, and it is a nice warm day here in uh, this northern country, and um, I'm just headed to Walmart to pick up a couple things, and then I'm headed out to the church, so I um, just thought I'd come in and just give God thanks, and and let y'all know that uh, you too can thank God for, for what he's already done and what's already done in the spirit realm. And, and uh, he will bring it to the natural realm uh, in his time. And he is never late. And so just wanted to uh, encourage you and let you know that. And uh, also, sorry for the big bump there. There's going to be another one here in just a second. This Walmart parking lot is atrocious. There we go. Um, just also wanted to just come on and um, you know, just remind you that some the reason why we don't get what, you know, 
The reason why we don't get what we need sometimes is because we don't believe that God supplies our needs. We don't have the faith. And so we need to have the faith to believe God that he is true to his word. So when we have the faith to believe that he has, you know, that he's true to his word and that he's going to do what he says he's going to do, that's when he comes through with provision. And so let's not doubt. Let's have faith. Let's use our faith. And let's believe that what God said is Take him at his word. You know what I mean? Take him at his word. Uh, do what he, you know, believe that he's going to do what he says he's going to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty simple. Now, sometimes it's not easy. I will give you that. Sometimes it's difficult to continue to have faith, especially when you're faced with a situation or a circumstance that doesn't look like it's turning out the way that you think it should. But, Gotta trust God. Take him at his word. All right, you guys. I love you. And thank you, Greg. Just Greg, Greg Harvey, Pastor Greenbeard, Hope Dealer. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Um, I don't have, I had lunch with my sister. That was a special thing. Um, gotten tons of messages on Facebook. It's really warm here, but I am about to run into Walmart and grab a couple things and then go out to the church. And, uh, get set up for... prayer tonight. So I will see you all later. Bye. Okay, it's not letting me go. All right, let's try this again. Bye.